When we started this campaign, things were as normal. But then we gave you the choice and you chose researching plug bayonet to trade West Prussia for East Prussia. After Prussia declared war on Saxony, we took West Prussia back. Things were starting off aggressively as we chose military tech to be our primary source of research. Now we lay firmly at war with Prussia, with them only having Brandenburg as their only region left. Things sadly take a turn for the worse as one of our allies, Austria, the one that we need most, has declared war on our protectorate, Saxony. We have to let Saxony go. We understand this is what it's like to be always at war, always ever expanding. Moving forward, we push most of our resources into taking Prussia out with their lone region left in Brandenburg. We can now use West Prussia as a launching point picking off separated Prussian armies. Prussia, however, is not an easy task, and it requires a lot of manpower to be able to take them down. Sadly, it becomes a war of attrition for us, but we must continue our push, not allowing Prussia to gain one foothold anywhere else. With things looking under control with Prussia, we look to strike against Sweden, who has left Estonia unguarded and an easy and right target for us to take. Taking Estonia is a vital target for us as it does protect Courland from future Russian advances, but now we are under attack from the Ottomans in the south. This is not a surprise to us as we've been waiting for this opportunity to strike against the Ottomans as they are weak without Cav. On the west front, we have a surprising occurrence as the Prussians take Silesia and we are able to take it from them. Taking Silesia first comes at a risk as we are diverting resources to taking a smaller region rather than taking Brandenburg itself, but sometimes risks are worth taking. Having taken the region and destroying all the Prussian forces in the vicinity and the surrounding areas, we have now secured a region from our ally Austria that we wouldn't normally have been able to take. Meanwhile in Moldavia we are at war with the Ottomans and we look to take regions from them quickly. Using our Cav dominance over them we look to quickly destroy their larger forces. Poland historically well known for their Cav. We definitely don't plan to disappoint with our use of it. With superior tactics and better morale than our Ottoman counterparts, we quickly take the field in Moldavia. While still only in the year 1703, we are making great advances as we move and approach into 1705. And if you are curious to know, our military tech is going quite well as we already have ring bayonet military syllabus and we're now researching carabiners. The addition of another college is not hurting either. Sadly, as we move into the year 1706, Austria captures Berlin, knocking Prussia out of the game. We cannot allow the Austrians to get too strong, so we must make quick advances on the Ottoman territories, gaining a nice foothold. We push our forces that were lined for Berlin and split them between Sweden and the Ottoman advances. We look to take Ingria and we look to establish clear dominance in the southern European region. In the snow-covered fields of Serbia, we look once again to show that Polish Cav is dominant. Whenever our armies take the field, our enemies shall fear the sound of the hoofs of our horses. Again, using superior tactics, we force our entire army against the right wing of the Ottoman army breaking them and completely shattering their force, leaving the remnants of their army in complete despair. Having achieved victory in Serbia and continue our push against the Swedish forces over in Ingria, we must not lose track of keeping pace against the Ottomans or the Austrians will gain foothold there and we don't want our ally to become even stronger. As we add Bosnia and Bulgaria to our empire, we must remember 
that by the year 1750 we must take Brandenburg and also Austria itself from the Austrians. However, right now we must focus our attention to take Ingria from the Swedish. Ingria holds a naval port that we very much want to get our hands on. So, sorry Sweden. It's going to be Polish hands soon. Continuing our tactics of using our manpower of massive militia forces and strong cav, we continue to surround our enemies, dropping their morale and breaking them one by one. Just as the Prussians have put up a great defense, so do the Swedish. Fortunately for us, the Polish cav is there to help. With our cav causing constant disruptions in the Swedish lines, it allows our militia forces to constantly put firepower upon them and eventually helping us take the day. With Ingria falling to the Polish hands, this now gives us access to being able to recruit fifth rates from the port therein and then establishing some dominance in the sea. As you can see, we have started to really carve a path into Central Europe. Sadly, we're not only competing against our enemies, as we are also competing against our allies, the Austrians, as they take Hanover and continue to grab more and more regions. If you did enjoy this content, do please give us a subscribe as it does help the channel continue to grow and establish dominance, a dominant empire. But if you do want to continue into the next part of this campaign, all you have to do is simply click the link in the end card to the next continuation. If it is not currently available, it will be soon to continue off this part of your choice of the campaign to see how it ends and see if you like, well, I guess the outcome, obviously. So now's your chance to go to the next part. Click the end card now. You're running out of time.